Hey guys, welcome back to the Regal Gentleman YouTube channel at my garden still. Uh, we're not too far away from um, getting back to work now, so we'll have some great content to, uh, to film in these next uh, few weeks. So stay tuned. But today, by probably the most popular demand, is the Tommy Shelby haircut. Now this is the season five haircut, okay? So I thought, with us having a mannequin, we can go as true to that Tommy Shelby look as we possibly can. So I've got total free roam over this, so I can make it look exactly like the images that we see. Now, the image that I've been looking at is off the uh, hairstylist who's done the hair for the show. It's on her Instagram. Now, I've been looking at that, and what it looks like to me is that they've gone a little bit shorter this time around. It looks like, a, it looks almost to me like a 0 0.5, maybe even close to a zero, but I think maybe a 0 0.5 will probably be the, be the most, uh, I'd say the most obvious length when I look at it, because I think if it was a zero, it would be it would be a wedge like it is, but I don't think I think it would be a little bit more uh, bald, should we say, on the back and sides. Where I still see that though it looks like a 0.5 length, so that's what we'll do today. But I'll show you how to create that whole look. All right, so it won't just be a basic kind of half in, leave the length bowl cut. I'm going to add a little bit more to it because I'm, I've been re looking at this like image in a lot of depth, and it's definitely not just as easy as that. So. It's, when I look at it, it looks as though you've got obviously a lot, you've got a top heaviness to here, then you've got a little bit of a shorter side here, and then obviously you've got the kind of, the, the, the wedge. So I wanna recreate that as well today. All right, so what I'm gonna do first is obviously I've shampooed and conditioned uh, Ian's hair, I've took his beard off as well, took it right off, just trying to get as close to Tommy Shelby as possible. All right, now if you think about it, in the, in the program, Tommy wears it in quite a, number of different ways sometimes it's quite flat on his face sometimes it's brushed over so if you have a look at the events he's going to if he's going to the horse racing for example it's swept over quite kind of across his fringe a little bit later on as we get through the series i mean i'm a big fan of it as well is that you start to see it's more swept over coming across here like this so it's quite off his face so i want to recreate both them looks on the top with the new back and sides of the fifth season that's what we're aiming for today all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to comb it out now I'm going to comb it through, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a section above the round of the head, okay? So similar to a horseshoe, but I'm going to start on my left-hand side, I'm going to work around to the right, because that's the way it's going to fall over this side. So I want to start on the side it's going to fall over, so I want to maintain a lot of this length. I want to maintain the length from sort of like here onwards, so taking away this bit through here. Just over the round of the head, so we're into his fringe, like that. But I'm working across the crown, okay? Because if you look at a lot of the haircuts, especially the newest one, the dip of the of the sort of wedge is quite low on the new one. The, the, remember the first couple of series, it was quite high, but this one looks quite low. Um, so I want to try and mimic that. So obviously leaving the crown in play, but obviously a lot shorter than what it will be. And then kind of work it into that wedge in a sense. Okay, so you'll see, you'll see it develop as we go along. I'm bringing it into the fringe, okay? Because I want to cut this part here first. Okay, now I'll show you what I'm going to do to that. There we go. I'm just going to tuck that hair up and over. And because it's long enough, I don't really need to use a clip. I'll just use the length and the twist, the fingers, to hold that up. So as you can see, it's above the round of the head. Now if I spin that around as well so you can see it, above the round of the head. Right, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to pull away the fringe. So imagine this is on a client, you've worked it into the fringe, same idea as here, pull that away because I want to maintain the length of the hairline at the front, okay? So I'm just going to comb that separately into the front. So I want to leave that bit of fringe, okay? So I want to keep this length, I want to create a line here and keep this length separate to the top. I'm going to do, take a line underneath, bringing it straight out and I'm pulling it completely straight out. So as that drops, that drops at the exact line I want to take my 0 0.5 to. So I'm creating myself a line here that will guide me through my 0 0.5. I rest my fingers flat against the head, pull it down, and I'll cut straight across. So what I'm essentially doing is leaving a line there. Put my section in, and there's my guideline there. Okay. Now this element here is going to be shorter, and the top's going to be longer. So if I pull that over, that would overhang. Okay. Same thing again. Now what it allows me to do, when I bring my fingers lower, it allows me to keep a little bit of length of the crown again. So I'm using my fingers as a guide all the way around. Bring that across and drop it down a little bit at the back as well. So based on the new images that I've seen, it sort of drops down a little bit at the crown. 
And again, this is a very sort of basic haircut because again, they weren't really icons for the hair back in the day. If you believe the story, the clothing was exceptional, but the haircuts weren't exactly what they were, what they were sort of, you know, renowned for in a sense of style. It was just their look. So again, we're looking to do something quite basic, but that is quite, especially with the top, adding that kind of little creative element to it as well. But again, this haircut isn't for everybody, but it's a fantastic haircut nonetheless. You see, I'm just creating a guide all the way around and just following the guide from before. Coming the fringe into the top, as so. So we are now matched up to the other side, okay? There's my guide, and there's my guide there as well. Okay, so I'm matched up nicely. And I'm gonna to start to let this dry naturally, okay? Because I still wanna style this hair at the end when it's a bit damp, because that way, that is the way the product will sit into it. So I'm gonna use a clay for this. I'm gonna use the Regal Gentleman Matte Clay for this one. And I wanna apply it when it's damp. So I'm gonna, I've washed this, I've conditioned it, and I'm gonna start cutting this, and I'm gonna to start to leave it to dry naturally. I'm not gonna use a hairdryer on it. I just want this to dry naturally as towards we get to the end. It's, quite, it's still got a little dampness to it. Then I can apply the product and leave it. Now what I'm gonna do is I've pulled the lever down. So I'm on to my half now, okay? And I'm gonna place a line in. Okay, now this sounds crazy, but watch. I'll place a line in, like that, on a 0.5. We've created that nice wedge to it. I'm going to work again, following that line, dropping it down. So we're not going in on a zero, but we're creating a wedge to it. So that's how we're going to get this harshness as my guide, okay? So I'm just working it down. So starting a little bit first like this, and then I'll work up from the sideburns. Up. So that's how I create my nice wedge to that. And try and get that line. Obviously, if you're using a zero, it's much easier because obviously it goes right down to create a, a solid line. But with a 0.5, it works really well. So I'm just working around now. Making sure I'm going over all bits that I need to. I'm working up to the line I place with my half. So that's how it works a lot better when you're working with longer hair. Okay? Just working it flat to the scalp. I'm working around again, using my guide. I'm working up to where I started. Now, have you noticed, guys, I'm doing this when the hair's a bit wet as well. Now, the reason for that is I find it easier to put the line in than when it's dry. Because when it's dry, it's a lot fluffier and the line might not stay level. So when it's just a little bit wet, you get the line to stay, you get the hair to sift flatter and it's much easier to place a line in, especially when you're working on a 0.5 as well. But just wet enough that you can see the teeth marks, okay, through the, or the comb. And I'm just making sure you're going over all the hair. We'll start from this side and meet, match in the middle. I'm just working up to the line, remember? Not scooping up and off, I'm working up to the line. Scooping up and off would start to create graduation, which is what we don't want in this. We're trying to stay away from any form of graduation, really. We're just having basically a half, shorter hair, longer hair. It's essentially what this haircut is. Again, Tommy wasn't well known for his sharp fades on the neck or anything, so I'm staying as true to it as possible. Just going to touch shorter on the bottom. Now I'm just going to turn the clip around, especially on a mannequin, because obviously the hair grows out in different ways. Just going to go over it down as well. So this is good if anyone does have very thick, straight hair. It's always nice to work down as well. Onto my scissors now. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to cut in along this line just to make it perfectly straight. So what I'm going to do is by angling the comb and the teeth towards you, I'm going to cut any little stray hairs just so that line sits a lot sharper. As you work the teeth, as I bring it across, you'll see that it's uneven through there. So I just want to make that a bit more even. So just teeth as far towards me as possible. Working your scissor nice, completely straight. That just sharpen off that line a bit more as well. Put the line nice and straight. So 
So we've got our line in, got our baseline in now. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna shorten this area slightly, just because it's obviously still quite long. I'm gonna work from the line, and I'm just gonna work up and off. So we're still getting this, we're still keeping that harsh line, but I'm just gonna shorten this through a little bit as well. Just so we've got that shorter element through here, and then we've got that longer element through the top as well. So as you can see, we're still keeping that nice sharp lining, which is going to touch shorter. There we go. Now, to finish off this, because it's starting to dry up nicely, is I'm going to use a bit of freehand clipper. Because again, on the mannequin, it sticks out a little bit more. So if you were doing this on a guy with, like, say, finer hair, that would sit really flat. Okay, but well, because we're on a mannequin and it's a little bit straighter, I'm just going to cap over that, all right? Just close guard, and I'm just going to bring it in on the sides, just so we don't get too much of a sticky kind of a mushroom effect. I don't want that, that wedge look as well. There we go, we've got our line from our 0.5. We've got our shorter elements here. As we comb this all out, we've still got our overhang from the top as well. So we've got two different lengths through here on the sides. We've got the short length, the shorter, we've got a 0.5 here, and a shorter length here. Then we've got the long length through the top as well. Okay, now I'm gonna take a section through here, through the top, on a slight diagonal. By doing that, when you start to move length through the sides, we start to get longer and longer through the front, okay? And then cut to match again. So I've got my guide here on the bottom, and I just cut it, okay? So what we're getting left with is a very heavy wedge, but as I fall forward, we maintain movement as well. I'm gonna start bringing this back as well. Again, if you watch and you look at any Tommy's haircuts, we've got short swallows at the front there, but it matches through the top, so it falls forward like that, okay? That's what we're looking to do, maintain that point down. Same section again, from further over this time. So I'm gonna bring this over from the crown, down into that section again, come this back, and cut the overhang there, okay? And as we get to this point here, bring this back on an angle to match, okay? Like that. There we go, so we maintain shortness through here, and then keeping length through the front. So as you can see, a bit short here, and gets longer towards the front. Got a guide under there. Down to the same section. Got my guide under there. Straight across, just in front of the crown. Pull down to match, cut to your guide underneath, so to your line. And as you get to this side, you should start to connect, okay? There we go, so we're going to connect now. That to me, season five, Tommy Shelby is starting to really take place, especially the back here. So now come all out from the crown, and we're left with a very heavy front. Now obviously we'll take some length off that, so I want this to sit just on the eyebrows, okay? Maybe a touch longer for the mannequin, so maybe to about here, okay? So we can sweep that across. I'm gonna come out from the crown, Pick it up from the crown and take off whatever I think. So because we've worked either side, we're left with length in the middle. So I want to keep the back a little bit shorter and graduate longer towards the front. Put that straight up. Now when I get to just in front of the top of the head, the apex, I want to start slightly over directing to graduate as well. So we're going from shorter to longer. So when you start to do that, when you start to over direct, you start to maintain more length as we get forward. Okay. So I'm going to bring this straight up for now. And now I'm going to start to bring this back, back to that section I just cut now. Okay. So we're still going to take some length off, but ultimately going to leave a lot of length at the front. Again, as you can see, I'm cutting everything uniform here. Okay. I'm not looking to overly have like any sort of point cutting in there or anything. I'm going to slightly slide cut into this. Ever so slightly, but 
Again, I want the sections that we took to create the texture, but ultimately it's all about that longer top heaviness. As you can see, as we're starting to get towards the front, it's going to get a little bit thinner. We should ultimately be left with quite a lot of length at the front as well. As I comb this down, got an awful lot of length at the front, but a few shorter bits through the back here as well. Okay, so that's what an over direction does. As we pick it up, there's my guide, and there's my guide from that side as well. Thing is nice and straight. So after this section now, I'm gonna start pulling everything back to that previous section. Pulling it back. There we go. Section from the center to the left hand side. Pick it up. There's my guide, there's my guide. So not much is coming off. There we go. Oh, nice and straight. Sporadic sections. So I have to pull this back now. There we go. I'm going to cut the fringe in now. So again, the length I want to leave it to, I want to leave it quite long and quite heavy. Okay. So I'm thinking I'm going to take it to on this mannequin about here. Now in a real life situation, the hairline would be slightly higher up. So you want to just have it so it just as you pull it across, it sits just along the eyebrows. Okay. So I'm going to do, I'm going to pull this down all the way from the back. And I'll take off about that much. Okay. Nice and straight. Using that as my guide, and then working on a slight diagonal now to connect into the side. So you pull it round, you get your guy from there, and your guy from there. Cut that in. So essentially, what you're getting is that coming through. But if you look at Tommy Shelby's haircut when it is fallen, it is that shape. Straight down, using your guide from that side there, nice and straight. More into the middle or so. Match. Now the last bit we do now, section it off and cut to match on an angle so we match up to the top. Slide cut, ever so slightly, just to break a bit of texture in there, thin it out slightly. Here you see Tommy's got a slight bit of texture in there, I'm working through as well. Pull it down, slide into the fringe a little bit as well. I'm just going to cut into the fringe a bit, just a point cut in slightly, just to break it up. I'm just going to thin this out as well, just by point cutting into it, okay? Just to thin it out. I'm just point cutting into the corner. This is purely to thin the hair out. There we go. So, we're going to style this now. So I'm going to use a bit of the Regal Gentleman Mac Clay. Now don't forget, I haven't wet this at all since it was shampooed. I've let this naturally air dry, because I find that when you start to let it naturally dry, you find you start to see the style coming out as you're cutting it, okay? Now we haven't had to do too much like razor work. There's in, in fact, no razor work. So we haven't had to wet the hair down a lot. A little bit of slide cutting, but I wasn't sliding through it. The scissor closed. I was opening and closing it as I was working, so it's not going to drag the hair, okay? So a little bit of Regal Jumpman Mac Clay. And scrunch this in okay as so make sure you get it all the way around the sides on that blend make sure you scrunch that all the way in right so it's all rubbed in and then we're going to style in the true Tommy Shelby fashion so again this is coming up and over into one side off his face, that wedge in it, you've got that overhang on the side there. Now, I'm going to use my wide tooth comb now to distribute this product. And start to comb it into place. Now again, we've got that top heaviness, we've got that swept off his face, slightly down and across the heaviness and then just tucked away on the side so that all blends in to itself and then just whatever's left on my hands just flatten through the sides and then I'm just going to run my fingers through it just to add that little bit more natural look that 
he tends to have. A nice bit of dishevelledness through the back and it's swept right over. So that can fall on the face if you want it to. You can bring it right across depending how you want it to fall. Now I know on a real person this wouldn't sit as wide but this is essentially what you're looking for because when you're doing it on a real person it wouldn't be growing out as wide on the sides it would sit a lot flatter but essentially this is the uh, what you want to take the option you want to take and that is my tommy shelby season five inspired haircut you can see that got a lot of fringe in there still it hooks around to the side it sits very heavy on that side as well which is what we're looking for and that is the angle that season five is taking at so it's dropped down a lot towards the crown still very heavy you've got that shorter element through here so it's almost like a short back in size with a, a 0.5 put right in and that is the season five tommy shelby haircut mm -hmm.